term transgression refers to a violation. This could be the violation of the law or simply social boundaries such as adultery. Transgression can present itself in many ways and in many aspects of life. For example, what can be considered as a sin would be deemed as a transgression against God. Transgressions can also be visible in art, films, books and music. Genres show breaking codes and social boundaries very often, especially in the genre of comedy. Comedy is subjective as it adapts over time to the fluctuating society. What many often don't realise is comedy has a history. Voy a la playa y me ha subido la marea. <risa> Eso. <risa> the term comedy originated in ancient Greece. At this time, democracy and the public opinion of voters was influenced by political satire, which was performed in theatres by comic poets. This was an enthusiastic act which pitted two groups, genders, ages, and societies against one another in a humorous argon. Athean comedy is orthodoxly split into three periods, old comedy, which are plays of Aristophanes, middle comedy, which is harder to present as it is blurred between the old and the new comedy. New comedy, followed by the death of Alexander the Great, was present throughout the rulers of the Macedonian period. Different forms and terms of comedy mean different things. Parody is a form of comedy still very much used in the Western world. Parody undermines popular genres from com comedic effect and involves mimicking something to comment on it. Today, in terms of comedy, the content is intended to make you laugh. Transgressive comedy often makes a mockery out of something that is usually taken very seriously out of the comedic context, such as disabilities, oppression, racism, etc. Comedic transgression is repeatedly visible in films, TV shows and stand-up comedy. Transgressive comedy is risky and offensive and is often described as using the term close to the bone. Had me a job this morning. Where? I went down to the post office and that man could he let me have one of them jobs as a letter? All right, class, two things today. I'm no good at math and I don't have a certificate to teach driver's ed, so I hired a math tutor and a driver's ed guy. Okay, so do you use my car, or do you have, like, a special one you brought? Um, I'm the math tutor. Really? No way! So that means you're the... Driver's ed instructor, yes. Well, I'll be a son of a gun. <laughs> All right! Time to learn math from a black guy, I guess. Okay, thanks, handyman. Well, I'm actually the caretaker. Oh, what? Uh, what those cool new skates? Now, you be careful with those. Don't want to fall and break something. Oh, that's funny. That's real funny. Um, let me give you a hand. Well, that's, that's awful kind of you. How about you give me a standing ovation? Why don't you lift me up? Oh, okay. I see where you're going with this one. You look familiar to me. Were you in stomp? Hey, you can kiss my grits. I think I'll be the bigger man now and walk away. Walk away. Uh as well as making a mockery out of sensitive subjects at the expense of humour, Crime is also depicted as a source of humour within transgressive comedy. Yeah. Come here, come here. Listen up, right? I'm an escaped lunatic. In the British TV show Gavin and Stacey, as an attempt of dark humour, the directors named each of the families within the show after notorious serial killers. These include Fred and Rose West, Peter Sutcliffe, and Harold Shipman. Due to the inappropriate nature of jokes in offensive comedy, you may wonder why they work so well and are still being used as a way to get the intended effect on the audience. Theorists have ideas as to why society deem the offensive nature of comedy as humorous. Plato and Aristotle propose the superiority theory to the idea that we find humour in other people's misfortunes because it makes us feel superior. For example, if someone hears a joke about a disability, we may laugh because subconsciously we feel superior and better. Jij ging naar het ziekenhuis voor een eenvoudige behandeling. Ja, wat, wat, wat was dat uh, precies? Wel, uh, <laughs> Excuseer. Wel, ik heb dus enorm veel last van uh, keelontstekingen. Mm -hmm. 
نظرت بلاي بارت ما كنت من أمامنا متي أمامنا إن من دكتور إيفا دوس أنغرادة أوبراسي تقاطع بيرة إن متي تاس كفوق فالير واس مش ميستر تان زن ستم مانبا En toen hij mij aansprak, ja, er kwam zo'n gek geluid uit. Ik moest zo ontzettend lachen. Maar ik wist natuurlijk van, ik mag hier niet lachen. Ik mag hier niet lachen. Dus ik probeerde mijn lach in te houden. Maar hoe meer ik mij probeerde te concentreren op mij, op de ernst. Ja, hoe, hoe, hoe meer ik voelde van, dit hou ik hier niet uit. Dit hou ik niet uit. Dit, dit, dit was... This may explain why transgressive comedy is prominent and present in films and tv shows. For example, if racism is portrayed in a comedic matter in a movie... The audience may find this funny as a result of their misfortune and therefore feel superior. The superiority theory may explain offensive jokes regarding someone's weight and appearance. When I see a fat person in the street, I spit on them as I would a dog and would encourage you to do the same. Fat Fighters is a very valuable organization which offers help and support to those who are serious about losing weight. Like these fat bastards. If I had my way, fat people would be strangled at birth, but unfortunately they're permitted to live. Another theory that may explain the humour that is expressed from inappropriate jokes is the incongruity theory. Kant explained that laughter at humour is simply a reaction to absurdity. James Beatty used this to analyse humour. This theory refers to the notion that laughter and humorous expressions are a result of something that violates our mental patterns and expectations. Within this theory, it is suggested that we enjoy incongruity in all aspects of amusement, such as the grotesque and macabre. This is visible in many areas of comedy today, particularly in stand-up comedy. Comedians often set up the jokes and then end with a punchline which contradicts the setup, ultimately violating the audience's expectations. Sure, but it's sad oh, wow. for myself. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if I ever have kids, I'm gonna make sure that they grow up being friends with every color of the rainbow. Uh, that means no black people. Comedy entices laughter, of course, downfalls exist. Transgressive comedy and transgressive jokes can potentially be detrimental to society. For example, it could be suggested that jokes about abuse, rape, etc. can lead to the normalization of such things in society. I bought a rape alarm because I kept on forgetting when to rape people. <laughs> <laughs> They're bloody marvellous. This idea can highlight the assembly between the pleasure of laughter, politics and our identities. In the world of comedy, women can be largely criticised. When doing stand-up comedy, women often use the marginality by the dominant sex on the stage in their performance. This can be portrayed as playing the victim as an us-against-them attitude is adopted. By performing their marginality as an act that is simultaneously oppressive and transgressive by cross-examining the demeaning stereotypes through humorous discourse. Thank you. Oh, hi. Well, it's a thrill to be out of the house. <laughs> I never go no place. I never have no fun ever, 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 because I'm a housewife. <laughs> you a housewife too? Yeah. Yeah. I hate that word. I hate the word homemaker too. I want to be. However, it can be argued that these types of jokes can break down barriers, test prejudice, and is simply the practice of freedom of speech. To bring this short video to an end, transgressive comedy has always been present in the ever-changing society, from ancient Greek history to modernity. As humour is subjective, it is hard to measure the level to which transgression is apparent within comedy and how transgression shapes society due to the impacts of it. The transgressions that come within comedy can be positive as well as negative. Making light of issues that are pressing within society can help bring about social movements and change. However, they can also be a factor that worsens the issues at hand. Thank you for listening.